It's time to present Alibam. When you start Alibam as the first time, you have this welcome window, on which pressing enter you can create a new file. Telescope is directly integrated in the framework. If you run find all, you can search files. You can also search for keywords in all the files around as we can see here, and here, and other many results. Elibam has many features, for example, visual ones. As you can see here, it highlights the function and you are inside. Or if you are in a word, it highlights the same word in other places. Now, let me show you one of the most amazing and useful features in all the framework. If you want to go to any place of your file, you can just press Ctrl F. If you want to go there, you press C. You can do it again. Let's go there, M. And if you want to go to this one, it includes two words. You can press first G and then Y, or directly G, Y. Also, you have a very nice visual movement. If you go 22 lines down, you can see here a rainbow of colors. or if you split the window, you can know exactly where is your cursor in the other window. You can use the control arrows to resize them and control H, G, K, L to move between them. As you can see, the visual reference is always showing. So instead of deleting every character of this word to change it, we can just type change word and then we type it. In the same way, we can say delete to quote, and it will delete it. In Elibam, you can change your color scheme with this toggle, and you can configure it in your settings. With leader key TH, you can select different color schemes. But the best is of course the Elife one. If you want a new tab, you can type tab new, and then a new tabulator appear, so you can go back and forth between your tabs. But it's more efficiently to just use windows, like this. And you can resize them, or just pressing control arrows. You can press the leader key, which is space, and search for files, so space FF. And you can type the name of the file, and you can see the preview of them. By pressing enter, you can edit them. You can see that the colors are already rendered. If you want to search for words inside your files, and let's type todo comments, and we can see the matches of this search on inside this file. So I can search the file that I want, and just go for editing it. To switch between your open ed files, just press tabulator or going backwards with shift tabulator. The helper menu is extremely useful because, for example, we want to delete, but we don't know how to delete. So let's just press the key D, and the menu will appear, proposing us different options. But we can have much more complex actions, for example, a round object. So let's try this one. This is a paragraph, and I can be just here, and then I press delete around a paragraph. It deletes entirely the paragraph. So this menu is very useful, and it can be used with many keys, like for example, change, and it will show new things. Or leader key, it will show many options by the leader key, for example, toggles, git, find, code, align, and so on. Alternatively, you have also spacey H as a cheat sheet, and you can see many hotkeys there. With git signs, we have these helpers, but there is also another way to see them. For example, with the toggles, toggle, git, deleted, and we can see the previous lines that has been deleted. Signs are disabled now. And word diff.
If we are navigating between the Git history, we can go and search for specific changes made. This line has been removed, this was before and this is after. If we press this character, we can go to the next chunk. This line has been added and these four lines have been added also. This also works in our editing file, for I have removed a few lines here and other modifications and I can go navigate to these differences with this key. Let's say that this line has been a mistake, as we can see the modification here, and we can reset to the original content, so we can use reset hunk. Or if we want to preview what has changed, we can see the preview, preview hunk. If we run this view open, we can see what has changed. We can close the tab. Or if we press leader key GH, we can see a visual diff between our git commits. If we press enter, we can see every revision. We can read the lines added and removed and so on. Now, let me talk to you about LSPs. An LSP is a language server and it's used in combination with NeoBeam to give you a lot of features in your language of programming. We open this bash script and we can see here that this variable is not correctly set. So we can check if we have the LSP enabled by running the command LSP info. And we can see that we have these ones working, but we don't have any one for bash. We can see also this information here. So let's enable one for bash. We go to the configuration files and we need to edit the custom ones in config, LSP config. Here we can add an LSP for bash. We will use this one, this line, bash ls. If we run trouble, which is a plugin included, we can see the errors and the warnings. By default, we have the diagnostics disabled, but we can enable them in any moment. Pressing the toggles, we can see the diagnostics here. And now we can see the diagnostics in the source code. This option is disabled by default because it uses more resources and it's quite annoying to see them all the time, so we can use trouble or enable them when we want. But how to set up the best LSP that suits you? The first thing that you need to do is to go to Google and search for the best one for your language. Then you can install it in a package in your operating system like this one, Shellcheck. But in case that you don't have it, you can run Mason. On Mason, you can search for LSPs or linters. And here we can see that we have installed it from Mason, which is installing the binary file inside your home. If we want to have it installed by default always, we can go to our configuration in the overrides file and go to the Mason to have ensure installed shell check. From Mason, you can have also debuggers, linters and formatters of source code. But the best is to just search in Google which works better, because you have so many options. On this example, by using the LSP of the Bash language server, we have so many features, like we can autocomplete functions, like this one, and we have the description here, which comes from this functions file. If you are an eLife supporter, in such case, you will have a Livam framework with automatic updates, with their descriptions, and we can integrate them in our framework. You open the file manager, you are always in the current directory. For change that, you can change directory. In the file manager, you have very useful features. For example, you can copy with C this file and paste it here with P. You can rename the files. 
or you can cut it and paste it in other place. We go to our configuration of NVIM and we can see here our BIM framework. Remember that you can only edit the custom directory, the other ones need to be kept in order to have updates. All your configurations goes here. You have the mappings, you have your plugins to add and some configurations. The completion menu is a very useful way to complete your code. For example, we can type this one and we can see the auto completion appears. This menu can be enabled or disabled on choice with the toggles M. So we can see that now doesn't appear, but we still have it if we press tab. You can see an example of this configuration in your custom files plugins. Here, if we uncomment this code, it will not autocomplete, so it will show the menu every time we press the tab. We can have also very powerful and useful snippets. If we type 4 and we press tab, we can see different options. Let's say that we want this one, so we press Ctrl Y to accept it and then we can change some values. We can go back in the variables to change or forward with tab and shift tab. If we want to comment this line, we just press Ctrl P or to uncomment it. You can also do the same with a block. If you want to shrink the comments in a single line, you can press shift it. And as you can see, the comment character is removed from this line. With the tag bar or F6, you can have a window to browse around functions. And it is extremely useful to search around your code. The line numbers are configured in a very specific way. If you are editing your file, you can see the lines of your file. And when you go to normal mode, it can show you your actual line and the relative ones. This is very useful because if you want to go to this line, you can see the number and you type it up and you go directly here. If you want to select a block, let's say until here, we can just type 7 and down. The surround feature is extremely useful, but especially with our hotkeys. If you press S around a word, you can surround it with different options. If we select the double quote, we can have this surrounding. We can try another ones, like the parentheses. Or if we want to remove the space between that, we can use the other option, which is this one, and so many. By default, you have some keywords highlighted. For example, the warning word, it's in orange, and we can see also an icon or performance. And in the same way, we can add marks. If we add MA, we have the mark it here. To jump to this position, we press this key and A, and we go there. We can go around the code and come back. You have also a very useful feature, which is alignments. Let's say that we want to align this code because it doesn't look very good. So we can select it. We press leader key, I, and then we have the options. Align after the equal operator. So we can press it and we have the command that is going to run and we accept it. As we can see, it's aligned with the equal thing. Now let's say that we want to align to the second one. We do the same and we can see two and we pick the equal. Then it's aligned to the second one. With this feature, you can press percentage to go between the endings like this or like this or any if function. If you are editing a file and it doesn't allow you to save it after to have made a lot of modifications like here, read only. You can overwrite this by pressing double exclamation. It asks you for the password of root and then you can save it. When you are writing your code, you can have previews of the functions. If you press print F, you can see the definition of the functions here, but it also includes a snippet. So if we press Ctrl Y to accept it, 
we can go around the values. It works also with internal functions. For example, this one, we can type it and we have the preview of the function here and the snippet is automatically generated. In normal Vim, you can increment and decrease numbers with Ctrl A or Ctrl X. But in this framework, you can do much more like these ones or increase numbers in a smart way, like for example this date. And so on. The which key feature is the menu that opens showing you many keys, as we can see here, so we don't need to remember all of them. We have the git, the aligns, the code, file, find war. Let's say that we want to change this war, which is CW, and we can change it, but we don't remember that. So we press C and it shows us all the options. For example, is change until the next word or change until the next end of the word. There is so many characters that you can use here. If you press G, which is normally used for go, you can go to the first line to the LSP declaration, LSP references, and many other ones. If you want to move a line, it is very easy with Alt and GK. For example, like this. Or you can select an entire block. The go to preview feature, it allows you to see functions of your source code and similar references. For example, we go go preview definition and we can see how it's defined here. Or we can go here, go preview and we can check for the references and we can see that this reference is here on this file. If you want to open a terminal in any moment, you can press Alt A. By pressing it again, you can hide it and open it in any moment. With Alt H you have a horizontal one and with Alt V you have a vertical one. This amazing framework is a premium feature of eLife. If you want to have access to it, you can join the eLife Patreon or you can be an eLife collaborator. Thank you.